if I'd like it's Dodie McMucky spooking in Bucky. It's Halloween the next, the time of year when the wispy veil that forms the border between the realms of the living and the deed is at its most boris, and I'm here in a scunner of time trying to keep Ahn in check. Hi, werewolves! Leave my bloody garden! <laughs> Leaving your shiny dubs all like. If you're needing to ward off all your ghosties and ghoulies, there's one simple Scottish thing you can do. Here's what you'll be needing. One neep. And that's it. First, spread out a pinch of the salt in a ring around your work surface. To halt the ingress of vampires. As well, you might want to cast your favourite symbol of protection, just cause it makes things look bonny. Now, tack your neep and lap off the top part. With the inside of your neep's cranium exposed, get to scooping. This bit takes ages, but keep at it. Eventually you'll hear an empty neep. Well that's no very scary. Get yourself onto Google and find the scariest face you can find. Once you've picked one, draw it on your neep for memory. With a sharp knife, carve out the terrifying visage onto your neep. Stick in a candle and light it up. Now place your neepy lantern at the edge of the forest and leave it there as an offering to the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, whose true name has spoken the very words of madness and whose song echoes in the very bones of men. All hail the nameless ravager, the bringer of the dark, the nightmare, the threshold. Once you've made your offering to the Dark Ones, you can come back inside and face the true horror. Eating the neeps. Bye for noob!